episode. Hey, everybody. How you doing? It's your buddy, Uncle Bruce, uh, here on Stock Markets with Bruce, live from Stockholm, Sweden. Welcome one, welcome all to the uh, program. Today's date, Friday, September the 15th, 2023. Oh, yeah, it's Friday, and that means it's option expiry day. Uh, we'll see with some kind of volatility. We'll see what that's all about. So far in the pre-market, mainly positive, uh, but uh, not everywhere. Uh, the Dow is up 65 at the moment. S&P index is up about four and a quarter, but the uh, NASDAQ is not positive. It's down nine points at the moment, uh, six one hundredths of a percentage point. Not a big you know, negative on NASDAQ. It's just not with the not going with the flow. We'll see if that turns around between now and opening uh, about an hour from now. Crude oil is trying to go higher. It's up 26 cents a, a barrel in Texas. We're at 90.43. We, we've broken that psychological 90 barrier. In Europe, uh, 94 a barrel was the high. Um, but again, uh, the demand has to keep coming on for this to keep going. Uh, you cannot have nine or ten straight weeks of increases in oil without the evidence that the demand is exceeding supply i don't see it but hey uh you know there's a lot of shills out there who are pumping and pumping the price on oil they're just trying to convince the world that there's a massive shortage of the product and everyone's going to need it and there just isn't enough to go around and i don't buy it i think there's oil everywhere but anyway it is 9042 uh, no denying that uh, the question is how fast could it retrench backwards how could it re how fast could it retrace its steps into the uh, mid 70s three days five days it wouldn't take much uh 10 12 weeks of gains could be wiped out in a week we'll find out we'll see right now it looks okay for the longs. All right, there's the story. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, yesterday, the talk was all about interest rates going up in Europe. Um, they're at the highest level ever since the European Union was formed back in 2000. Uh, prior to 2000, for those of you who are um, under 40 years of age, you don't know this world you you were never part of it prior to 2000 in 1995 98 um you had uh, uh german marks uh you reunified germany east and west but you had german marks trading out there you had swiss francs french francs uh you, uh, you had uh, all the krona all the other currencies uh trading independently of each other inside this loose european thing but in 2000, the Europeans got their act together after years of negotiating. They put together the Eurozone, and they brought out the currency known as the Euro. And that is why it's called the Euro. It's part of the uh, European Union. And all the currencies that were uh, German and French and Italian and Spanish and Greek and, and, and many others were all lumped in on a ratio that had been negotiated out to give everyone euros. And so uh, in most of Europe, most of Europe, when you travel, you only have to worry about getting your hands on euros. You go to the United Kingdom, you still trade in pounds. You come to a place like Sweden, you're trading in Swedish krona. You go to Denmark, it's Danish krona. But uh, most of Europe, it's euros. And it's rather convenient and it's a lot cheaper for a lot of people uh because in the old days uh, in the 90s if you wanted to travel throughout europe to five or six different countries over a month or two you had to worry about six or seven different currencies uh you'd come home with your pocket filled of full of coins and notes and you couldn't get rid of the stuff it was a waste and a loss of cash for tourists it was very expensive converting and so on in any event yesterday the bank rate went up to the highest level since the european union was created in 2000 we're now approaching four and a half to five percent and that is the highest rates have ever been because prior to 2000 
in the US, Euro, Europe, there was a push to have lower and lower and lower interest rates to spur economic activity. And uh, we've had uh, 20 plus years of very, very low interest rates, which is why most people who are 50 and younger have never experienced 10, 20, 10, 12, 14% interest rates on a car loan. They might just be about to do that. Um, interesting stuff. Mortgages, 7% now going to maybe 8 This is new territory for a lot of people. They've never seen this before. They've never experienced a scenario where a big chunk of their mortgage payment only pays the interest and very little of their mortgage payment knocks down the principal. This is a new concept for people. They don't like it. Welcome to the inflationary world in which we live. All right. Um, speaking of inflation, high interest rates, the UAW, the United Auto Workers and the uh, U.S. Big Three automakers cannot uh, come up with a deal to avert what I have been calling for, uh, what I've been predicting now for months on this channel, the strike, the auto strike. It has begun. It will build in uh, intensity. It will build in how many workers are off the job. But to start it off last night at midnight, three car plants, one for each of the big three, were shut down by union members walking off the job. Uh, the contract is over. Union workers, uh, there are people working today in car plants without a contract. Uh, they're being paid their old contract. But um, I suspect that as each day and as each week goes on, if the two sides aren't making the kind of progress that uh, I think the union members really want to see, I'm going to suspect that they're going to increase the number of factories that are going to get shut down to put the heat on Ford, GM, and and Stellantis or Stellantis, which is Chrysler. Um, keep in mind that uh, American Airlines, United, uh, Delta, um, United, uh, the uh, the United, uh, was it uh, Postal Service? These unions have come up with agreements already um, in the last six months to avert strikes at their companies and. Um, uh union members for the pilots uh for the airlines and union members at ups were received some very hefty raises uh, because they were getting two and three percent pay raises for the last three four five years and they were just getting slaughtered at the uh, cash register when they were you know buying their groceries and stuff inflation has really taken a, a knock against a lot of employees especially unionized employees with long-term contracts you have to wait till the contract is up to get a new deal. Employers don't come to you with a year to go say, hey, listen, uh, I know our contract doesn't end for a year, but why don't we give you a, a 3% bonus right now to kind of compensate for the last year's you know, expenses? They don't do that. They wait till the contract runs out, and then they play hardball to try to get the union to, to cave. It's not going to happen this time around. The union workers uh, <coughs> are in a power position. The big difference this time around is that the union leadership of the UAW, the Steamsters, they know how strong their position actually is. And uh, there is a huge labor shortage in the USA. There are 10 million job openings out there that are unfilled. A lot of uh, union members at car plants, you might think, can only do one thing, like put a put a nut on a tire, something like that. That Those movies that you see uh, from the 20s and the 30s and the 40s and the 50s of, of unionized auto workers on assembly lines, building cars way back when, that is not the real world in which these uh, folks are operating in today. Um, it's a whole lot different. Uh, the other thing to remember is that um, if you're a 40-year-old uh, assembly line worker at a car plant, you are prime pickings for a lot of other companies out there that would love to have your work ethic. If you've got a work, uh, work ethic, they'd love to steal you from these car companies. And um, I wouldn't be surprised that uh, some union members uh, may walk if this goes on too long and they may go to other businesses and not come back to the auto sector. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. All right, so the UAW, the strike is on. It's beginning. It's going to grow. <clears throat> auto companies are making more than $10 billion a year in profits. Thank you to the chicken tax that was imposed. 
in the 60s by President Johnson. Uh, the chicken tax was never repealed. It gives uh, North American car manufacturers and in a 25 percent price buffer over any foreign competition for light trucks including pickup truck production is it any wonder is it any surprise that ford general motors and chrysler make the bulk of their profits from pickup truck sales in Canada and the USA and Mexico. This is where they make most of their profits. It's from vehicles that are impossible to import from anywhere else in the world into the United States to capture any kind of market share. The chicken tax from 1963, four, whatever year that was, has guaranteed and has made it possible for the big three companies to be lazy to be uninventive, to be non-resourceful, to just produce the same crappy truck year after year after year, slap some chrome on it once in a while, put a little feature in on it once in a while. But bottom line, Americans and Canadians are paying 50% more than they should for pickup trucks for what they're getting. The kind of technology that you get presented to you when you buy a brand new Ford F-150 or a Dodge Ram or a GMC, whatever, is garbage compared to what you could be getting if you were, if you were allowed or being offered vehicles from all manufacturers around the world, some of which would bring in pickup trucks that would blow your mind with the technology that, it, that they, would in, they would have incorporated. But uh, when you got a 25% social subsidy from the taxpayers of the United States, you don't have to be all that inventive and all that smart to make a whole bunch of money because the government has tilted the playing field in your favor for 50 years. And the union, hey, God bless these guys. They're saying, hey, uh, we don't care if these guys make 10 billion bucks or more a year in profit. We want a pay raise because at the end of the day, if you go to a car dealership, and you try to buy a vehicle with a Ford logo on it, a Chrysler logo, a GM logo on it, bottom line is this. What you are paying for a brand new vehicle built in the United States of America has less than 5% of the price represented by the labor cost to build it. More than 95% of the price you are paying or an SUV, a pickup truck, anything built in America is not labor. It is parts and the rest is profits. And these profits are massive. Wall Street loves the profits because they love it when these automakers buy stock back to keep pumping up the stock. The top 10%, 5%, 1% of the employees of these auto automotive companies love this game because they get paid huge bonuses in stock options and they just want the stock to go up. They love the fact that they can get the stock at a discount to any of you out there who are watching me right now. <clears throat> you cannot get GM stock as cheap as the insiders of GM. And these guys are getting Wall Street help into exercising their stock and dumping their shares on the open market and taking the profit ride all the way to retirement. The unionized workers don't get any of these benefits. They get paid for every hour they're on the shop floor. Look, hey, it's an it's a contract, you know, it's a deal. Uh, you work for a company for so many hours a week, you get paid so much money per hour, that's your deal. Now, if the uh, employer is making a ton of money, uh, then there's some dough in there for the employees to go after a raise. <laughs> It's not like car prices have been cut to consumers by 5% a year for 15 years in a row. You probably have noticed when you go into a car dealership or even if you look online on these websites that these car companies provide you, you want to put together an F-150 with various features, you have sticker shock when you take a look at the price of a new vehicle from Ford, GM, or Chrysler. The union is just going, hey, Everyone's winning. Uh, it's our turn to catch up with inflation and all the cuts we gave these car companies 10, 
15 years ago so they could survive and here we are and that is that's it nothing personal it's just business uh, it's just like the godfather it's nothing personal whatsoever all right so there's the deal the ua strike is on the question will be how many other industries will be affected in the next few weeks if this goes on and deepens what about the uh, tire suppliers what about the parts suppliers to the car plants what about all the white collar workers at these three plants how many of them will be furloughed let go let laid off for a while and run into money issues this, this is the the factor that we worry about you have the northeast us that is highly dependent canada also in ontario quebec highly dependent on the auto companies for labor this can spread and it can affect the gdp of the united states and of canada so eventually the strike can get really expensive the question is how far will the car companies go before they cave and just say let's pay these guys and get back to making money union is saying look um we want to uh, build uh anything you guys want to create you want to create new evs great uh we'll watch our automotive workers get replaced uh, or retrained away from transmissions and and combustion engines and all those components into ev parts uh we'll we'll, we'll transition them into there but we want those cars assembled in unionized plants Ford, gm and chrysler are trying to go behind the back of the union to open up factories in states where it's next to impossible for the uaw to set up shop and this is the other the battle that's going on and uh we're gonna have to see how this all plays out okay there you go uh, whether you're pro-union or not it's i just want you to know what is happening in plain english all right thank you everybody for being here look the title of today's show uh new daily trading tips for gold bagel members what the hell am i talking about here for those of you who just watch me uh, uh, on a daily basis, uh, whether you're just a lurker uh, or whether you're a member of this channel on the Chillin' with Uncle Bruce level, you're wondering, what's he talking about, this, this new daily trading tips for Gold Bagel members? What, what is that all about? Let me explain to you what is happening here. I am trying to find ways to thank my top top followers of this channel who are right up here these are gold bagel members these folks are paying 25 dollars a month to youtube to be a member of this channel at the gold bagel level and i want them to be rewarded for their generosity 300 bucks a year i want them to be rewarded for their generosity uh over and above what they are getting so far right now if you're a member of this channel at any level you are able to comment here during trading hours uh when i'm home in uh, in uh, canada or when i'm uh, in california and i'm not traveling every week to some, to another city i have a wednesday night trade alert show that i do just for gold bagel members but starting today i have launched the first and it'll be hopefully several times a week maybe maybe every day if i could pull this off a trading tip just for gold bagel members only i'm going to do one to two minute long videos uh, that will be uh, launched either on my phone or on my computer you never know when or where about trading opportunities that are available to you today because things change on a daily basis as all of you know as you follow me here over the uh, last few years things change all the time and there are opportunities that pop up from one once in a while where you can take advantage of a trade now being a follower of this channel, if you're following me now and following me regularly, you know that we have uh, uh, become a channel that talks a lot about option trading, how you can become an option writer, how you can become a iron condor creator, how you can be a cash secured put uh, creator. There's all kinds of option strategies that I've talked about and have done classes about on my, on my website stockmarketswithbruce.ca and every day that we're here uh, i get people asking me every day that i'm on the air what do you think about this trade what do you think about that trade what about this trade what about that trade uh, i now want to start bringing specific trades to the attention of members of this channel if you're a gold bagel level member you're going to get an alert 
every day or every day I do one of these, you'll be able to catch a one to two minute video with a specific trade that I have uncovered that might interest you and that you can make some money on. And uh, I'm quite looking forward to the next few weeks as time goes by and more and more of these videos find their way out there. How are you doing on these trades? If any of you taken advantage of them, how did they work out for you? That type of thing. Um, look, there will be updates on everything. I will talk about uh, resource stocks. I'll talk about auto stocks. I'll talk about AI stocks. I'll talk about chip stocks. I'll talk about whatever. And I might talk about index uh, trades that might be available to you. Index iron condors, for example. Um, you never know what the tip of the day will be. So stick around. If you are not a Gold Bagel member, I encourage you, as I always do, please consider becoming one of these kids right here. It will pay you more than the $25 you're going to pay to become a member of this channel as a Gold Bagel member. I am certain of that. Um, thank you again to all of you who are already members of this channel. Chill with Uncle Bruce level at $10 a month. Gold Bagel at $25. I thank you. And your uh, your contribution to this channel is much, much appreciated. Hopefully, cross our fingers, more of you will be enticed to become members of this channel, specifically Gold Bagel members, to get your daily trade tip to you through this channel for gold bagel members only um and if it works out the way i expect it'll work out i'm thinking there's going to be a bunch of folks going i'm really glad you gave me that tip the other day i made that move that day or the next day and i pulled in 500 bucks in in a week uh thank you for that that pays for my channel for like the next year and a half thank you very much uncle bruce um so stick around for that. That is why this show today is called New Daily Trading Tips for Gold Bagel Members. Thank you all for being part of all that. Okay. Something else I wanted to mention. I read an article today um, about how, uh, saying earlier, how uh, how the, the, the um, central bankers of the world, the Federal Reserve of the U.S., Bank of Canada, Bank of England, uh, the ECB, central bankers, they've been raising interest rates, raising interest rates to try to get inflation to calm the hell down. Uh, this fight is, is going to take years. It always does. Uh, those of you who don't know, because you're not old enough to have been around, it's not your fault. It's all right. It's not your fault. It takes years to get rid of inflation. You can't get rid of it in an eight-second attention span kind of thing. It's it's not that kind of scenario. It takes a long time to wring out of an economy. So for now, we are going to be probably in a 4 to 8% inflation range for quite a while. And the uh, interest rates are going to stay up here, maybe go even higher for a while. We may see 8 to 9% mortgages. We may see 10% car loans, personal lines of credit. Um, We'll, we'll see how this goes. In the corporate world, companies are also very aware of interest rate moves. Uh, they are incredibly uh, focused on it. They pay really close attention to it, and they uh, uh, may find, in, in some cases, that money is going to become much more expensive to some of them than they thought. Now, I saw an article the other day about how interest rates have are playing out right now and how for some companies they're doing quite well with higher interest rates uh higher interest rates are working out uh for an example uh, microsoft uh, was highlighted in this article microsoft has a bunch of bonds out there that they've issued they borrowed money for years and years and years microsoft has borrowed money um, probably once a year or two uh, for at least a decade or longer. They have bonds that are out there that still have 5, 8, 10, 12, 15 years left in them where they're only paying 1.5% interest, 1.6%, 1.8% interest. They have got loans into billions and billions of dollars where they're paying very little money. Now, why would Microsoft borrow money when in reality, Microsoft, like Apple, has cash in the bank? They have money. They have lots of cash. The reason is simple. Where the cash is, is the problem for many large corporations. 
Microsoft's cash is not necessarily in the United States. Maybe one-tenth of it is in the U.S. The rest of it is offshore in other countries around the world. And Microsoft likes to get their hands on cash in the U.S. to do stock buybacks and other moves. What they'll do is they'll issue bonds to investors in the USA through all these pension funds and hedge funds and others, which they did, like I said, 10, 15 years ago. They're taking in money where hedge funds and pension funds are only collecting 1% to 2% interest from Apple because Apple's debt is AAA rated. These guys are paying 1% to 2% interest on billions of dollars, but they're sitting on tens of billions overseas. And they're hauling in interest at today's interest rates. These corporations like Apple and Microsoft and others are buying or investing in banks and certificates of deposit or treasury notes that are 30, 60, 90 days long that are paying right now four, five, five and a half percent interest, depending on which country we're talking about. And so in the case of Microsoft right now, they are paying just under $500 million a year in interest. This is what Microsoft is paying out right now for the bonds that they have issued, paying about $10 million a week in interest payments. You want the good news? They are collecting double that in interest received on their cash on hand. Microsoft is hauling in about a billion a year in interest, and that number is climbing every quarter because every time the bank rates get lifted, treasury notes become more juicy with the payouts. These corporations are bringing in more cash in interest on their cash on hand than they're spending to hold it. Apple is laughing all the way to the Treasury Department. Remember, when Microsoft and Apple and uh, Oracle and uh, Amazon and Google and Facebook and you name dozens of other large corporations, the top 10% of the American public companies out there are sitting on trillions of dollars of money, trillions of dollars. These guys are sitting back going, this is great. We borrowed a whole bunch of money. Like maybe we borrowed half a trillion dollars and we are sitting on 1.6 trillion or whatever or more. The money that they're paying out in interest is a business deduction. It's a tax write-off. The American taxpayer is not collecting income tax from these corporations oh. For all the interest money that they're spending out, that they're sending out. So just Microsoft, $500 million in interest payments, that is coming off their profits. They don't have to pay income tax on that $500 million. The money that's coming in, the billion, is, a, is, is interest income. So that's adding income to the corporation, and they're paying out the uh, less than that and getting a tax break for it. Apple's same darn thing along with everybody else. So every time we, t I tell you and talk to you about a quarter point increase in the bank rate for the Federal Reserve or the Bank of Canada or in England or uh, in the ECB or in the Bank of Japan, wherever, there is higher interest being earned by those who have cash to earn interest with. And that's true of retirees who have money in their retirement accounts. It's true of pension funds that are sitting on trillions of dollars to earn revenue in. And it's also true of corporate America. And this is why the rich get richer. The, the U.S. Federal Reserve is trying to raise rates to slow down the economy. What's actually happening for 10%, the top 10% of American corporations, for the next five years, they will haul in more money in interest income than they'll pay up, and that number is going to grow. That sp spread is growing. It's not good news for the cruise lines, for example. The cruise lines are not winners in this scenario. The cruise lines are absolutely getting hammered with this problem. Airlines are getting absolutely hammered 
a lot of the uh, uh, operators, hotel operators, resort operators like Marriott's and others getting hammered. They had to borrow money during COVID to keep their businesses afloat while the shutdown was on. And now they're carrying much higher debt loads than cash on hand, and they're paying out more than they're bringing in. Another winner, by the way, um, our friends in the SPAC business, our friends in uh, uh, Matterport, Rocket Lab, Smart Rent, and our friends at GameStop. All of these companies are sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars, in the case of GameStop, <laughs> over a billion dollars in cash with no debt. The SPACs that we talk about, I talk about the Smart Rent, the Matterport, the Rocket Labs. Uh, these guys are on hundred. They're on hundreds of millions of dollars, sitting on hundreds, two, three, four hundred million each in cash, no debt. Spire sitting on over a hundred million bucks. They're hauling in interest as well on their cash. They're putting their money to work in short-term paper, like Treasury notes that pay 4%, 4.4% interest, paying nothing for the money. They received it for stock they issued when they issued it. They're sitting on this cash, receiving this interest income. In the case of GameStop, think about it. If GameStop can bring in upwards of 5% interest on their money, depending on what they put it into, on $1.1, $1.2 billion, we're talking as much as $60 million dollars of interest a year coming into GameStop. I told you yesterday the big story about GameStop. They cut their expenses last in the second quarter that they just re result, repeat, re reported on. They cut their expenses by $100 million. What you don't know is that they've hauled in $15 million last quarter in interest income. They're going to haul in $15 million on the next quarter and the next quarter. On top of these price cuts, they're bringing in this pure profit, pure cash. There's no cost to make the $15 million a quarter. It's not like they got to pay 60% of the cost of the money. It's money in their account bringing in $60 million a year potentially to GameStop just on their cash balance. That's a small corporation. I mean, we're talking five, six billion capitalization. SoFi, of course, is making a ton of money with these interest rate increases because SoFi, yes, they're paying 4%, 4.2% out to savers who are bringing in $2 billion a quarter in additional deposits into SoFi's hands. But you know and I know that SoFi lends that money out at much higher than 4.2%. The spread is what makes them their dough. If SoFi was issuing $5 billion in loans two years ago and $15 billion today, and they're going to issue $30 billion in loans in the next two years on an annual basis, and they can pull in a 5 6% spread on the money they're bringing in versus what they're paying to get it, think about how much money SoFi is going to make. You can and add to that how much Wells Fargo is going to make, Bank of America, uh, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. Of course, these multi-trillion dollar guys are going to laugh all the way to the Federal Reserve Bank. But SoFi itself is going to have a wonderful time of it as their deposit numbers continue to expand out with these new members coming in and the spread between what they pay and what they're getting is four, five, six, seven percent. It's huge. They're not all companies are losers. Anyway, those are your, my thoughts for you today on a couple of fronts that uh, I've got going on here. We're watching a lot of different uh, developments, uh, companies that are earning more interest than they're paying out, uh, the uh, folks at uh, UAW doing their thing, and tonight GameStop's movie is coming out. The GameStop movie is going to hit the theaters. I have no idea if there's going to be any following to this story or not. Uh, has it been too long a time frame since GameStop story happened and the movie is coming out in this case? I, I have no idea. Will the movie have more of a following next week than this week because of word of mouth? I, I don't know. I, any of you who watch the movie, uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, we'll see what, uh, what gives. 
Uh, but the GameStop movie, <clears throat> if they're in any way accurate with the story, and I hope they are, um, this channel right here can uh, can completely, uh, uh, I completely admit it, uh, that this channel would not exist the way it exists now if GameStop had not happened at all. Uh, I wouldn't be here. GameStop, you and I are live together. We're talking about making money in the options market uh, all because the GameStop story happened in the first place the way it did happen when it happened. Phenomenal uh, story. Um, again, I'm curious to see if any of you are going to watch it. I'd be uh, kind of uh, curious to see how that plays out. Thank you all for uh, being here today. Um, it's great to have you joining us today. Larry Titus is here with uh, the 48 thumbs up. I appreciate that, Larry. Good morning from Constantine. I am number 51 on the thumbs up. Thank you. Octavio, I am number 62 on your thumbs up meter. Thank you all so much for uh, joining in, following in, being members of the channel, and uh, supporting us with the thumbs ups. We uh, we appreciate it very much. 65 and counting. Uh, 30 minutes into the show. We have 24 minutes to go before we start trading uh, for today, Friday, the, uh, the uh, option expiry day uh, of the week. We're going to see just what comes of it. This should be a, a should be kind of fun. Um, uh, Cameron, I have a good bit of coin being deposited into SoFi. I'm getting there four and a half percent. Nice going. Juan, I have 700 shares of SoFi. I'm wondering if it is wise to write short term calls to make a few bucks here and there. My thinking is uh, you want to hold off right now because the stock just did break nine bucks this week for the first time in, in a while, like over a month. There was an, uh, an interview on. Um, what was it with Kramer and uh, Noto the other day that got picked up? Uh, Noto is talking about uh, two billion a quarter coming in in added deposits from new members and existing members. This company, the, the SoFi, is having no trouble attracting capital. They are moving up the ranks as to the size of their bank compared to the the entire three thousand plus banks that are out there. They're in the top one hundred now in how big they are. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're growing by five positions every month right now with the amount of capital coming in their front door. It is quite something. Um, we're going to get the next update uh, in less than two months. Uh, there'll be the next quarterly update. Uh, there'll be a lot of speculation in this quarter about whether or not they are already profitable right now. We were all wondering last quarter, was that going to be revealed that we just turned the corner or is that really this quarter or next quarter? I have a suspicion it's this quarter and I'm waiting for an analyst to come out with uh, an upgrade on SoFi where they will say, based on the numbers that they can see so far, the company is making money now. And if that vibe starts to hit the street at any time, this week, next week, next month, we may have a three, four, five dollar pop on the stock right into that 12, 14, 16 neighborhood very, very quickly. And that is where you guys will begin to look at writing contracts. You'll start looking at, oh, January, February, March, 20s, 22s. You'll start bringing in two, three dollars a contract for a two, three month contract, a buck a month in premium coming your way. That's what I'm waiting for. 902 is nice. That's where it is at the moment. It's okay. But that's not where the stock is going to initially go to and stay at. Um, it is going to be most interesting. All right. Flint Creek, I would not be trading it uh, for the GameStop story and wouldn't be here. Uh, a Beach Boy. Would today be a nice time to write GameStop cash secured puts in the money for higher premium? Uh, kudos for Mr. Premium with the options for the idea. Um, you know, it depends how long out you go. Uh, that's the way I would play this. If you're going to write uh, in the money cash secured puts on GameStop, I would not be doing it for the next month or two. I'd be going into next year uh, to give you lots of time, which, of course, gives you a bigger premium. You want to be paid a premium over the book value. I 
don't want you getting all crazy for a book value trade. I want you getting a premium for the time you're offering. And that gives you time to get the result you want. Uh, that might be something to think about. December, January, not long enough, I don't think. That's too close in. We're already into September 15 here. Uh, December's die uh, in, in 90 days. I, I think we're talking March, April, May next year kind of timing. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, a couple of thoughts. Anyway, that's that's where, where my, my take on it is. Um, it's nice to see it GameStop at, at 1821, but I don't think this is it. Um, I think there's more upside upside coming on this stock. Um, uh, I, I see the $20 level uh, being you know, reached again. Um, articles have come out, I have to admit. Some some articles have come out and some analytics, kind of loose analytics have come out about GameStop talking about uh, old school, going old school again. Uh, the company reverting back to its bricks and mortars roots. Um, I saw an article the other day about uh, Westfield Shopping Mall Company based out of Europe. Uh, the Westfield Group are not interested in selling off all their U.S. malls. The thinking was by analysts, that's exactly what they were going to do. They were going to get out of the mall business in the USA. Uh, all of a sudden, in the last month or two, that is, seems to have stopped dead in its tracks. Uh, it looks like Westfield did offload a couple of malls, but they've stopped uh, offering more. And now they seem to be upgrading some of their key properties and are talking about getting record rents from retailers uh the the rebound effect has kicked in here uh retail in the u.s has sort of had a bit of a resurgence uh in in person in person shopping has come in um it'll be interesting to see how this plays out with GameStop. Uh, this so-called uh, uh march into the digital world has kind of stopped also quite quickly there were people saying GameStop is toast because everything's going online. No one's going to go to a GameStop store to buy anything. They'll just do it online. Not happening. The gaming systems constantly need to be upgraded. Um, a five-year-old PlayStation, a five-year-old Xbox, a seven-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old, these eventually get upgraded. And the power that these computers need to generate, the chip strength, if you want to get into AI intelligent gaming, you have got to have in your house the kind of computing power to handle this stuff. If you're going to be wearing these 3D goggles and face masks and everything else to get into these kinds of AI games, can't do it online. There's You don't have enough power online to handle it. It's just not there. I don't believe so. I, I think it's going to be go to your GameStop store, get your, get your goggles, and get your system. And I believe that Sony and Microsoft know what's coming. They they are absolutely on the forefront of producing the next generation of PlayStations that will be available at your Best Buy store, at your GameStop store, at your Walmart, uh, wherever else. But GameStop will be the experts, and that's where the gamers will con congregate to compare notes. I, I just get that vibe. Remember, the uh, chairman of GameStop is a gamer. He's 35, 36 years old. He's a gamer. He knows this business firsthand. Uh, that is a huge advantage to reading this market, reading this gaming market. I, I'm kind of wondering. Anyway, there it is. Uh, let's see what's going on. Um, uh, Gaiotti, I wouldn't have gotten into trading if it weren't for GameStop either. But remember, uh, not to fall in love with the stock. Emotions are not meant for this. Right on, Splair. There are a lot uh, uh, that like the, to collect the discs. Adam, um, seems NVIDIA are cutting budget for gaming, GPU development. AI chips are in a different division. Gaiotti, people buy PC parts online all the time to build PC rigs that far out compete PlayStation 5 and XP1. Uh, sure. I'm sure that's true, too. Um, it's a complicated business, um, but there are those who, you know, they want to get the brand name, PlayStation, whatever. They want the warranty. They're not able to take apart systems and put them together. There is that crowd as well. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Great to have you here. We are 16 minutes away from opening the uh, the. Uh, 
trading for the day. It's Friday, September 15, option expiry day. So far, I see an 11 cent drop yesterday on Rocket Lab with a 3% gain, a 3 cent gain today. SoFi is uh, down a nickel at 901. GameStop off 13 cents at 1820. Matterport looks to be up about a penny. Uh, Spire up four. Smart Rent maybe up a f about a nickel, about five cents. Apple is up 131. Uh, Goldman down 57 cents. Cisco down a dime. Tesla having a good day again, up 190, now up $2. It was up 474 yesterday. Arc Innovations up three. Microsoft down just about 70 cents, it was up 260 yesterday. Pfizer is up five cents right now. Make it seven. It was up seven yesterday. HPQ is down six cents at 27.76. Kind of get the wonder that maybe we bottomed out on HPQ for a while. Alphabet, uh, Google is down 37 cents. It was up 149 yesterday. Amazon down 13 yesterday, down 197 this morning. Nvidia was up 96 yesterday, down 198 this morning. Uh, on NVIDIA. It's at 453.70, down $2 a share. Unity up 78 cents. It was down 112 yesterday. Um, AI uh, was up 45 yesterday, down 19 this morning, kind of quiet at 28.03. <laughs> Adobe down 140 yesterday, down 19.56 today. They came in with their earnings matched or beat their earnings but wall street didn't like their take on what they think their revenues are going to be next year uh, adobe has had a good run so i can see a bit of a pullback making sense and netflix up 160 at 402 this morning got down to 398 397 last night it was at 400 yesterday last trade 400 dollars 49 cents 401.98 402 a little bit of a bouncer that has uh, that stock might have a bit of a bounce in it not much but maybe 410 might be in the future going forward that's what i see here uh so far on some of these stocks as we are uh, awaiting the opening of trading uh since i've been uh, uh here uh we were up on the dow we were up on s p when i started the show we're not up anymore we're now down 14 on the dow down four points on S&P, and NASDAQ, which was down nine, is now down 44 points. Uh, crude oil, gone red, down 15 cents a barrel to be sitting at 90.01 in Texas right at the moment. These, these are not surprising to see this. I think we're going to see 100 to 200 point fluctuations on the Dow all day long. It's, it's option expiry day. Uh, we've had a lot of volatility lately. There could be some going into this close all day long. Everybody, thank you all for being here. Uh, great to have you. Um, uh, Gaiotti is saying, I wish GameStop went in heavy on becoming a PC part shop instead of a dead-on-arrival NFT marketplace. Drew, 73 thumbs up. Hello, everybody. Or as they say in Sweden, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, well, welcome. Splitter, I'm the one who feels like destroying something when he is working on the stuff inside of a console for fixing it. That's why I prefer to buy with a long guarantee, especially if it's expensive. Coffee Kids Trading is here. Number 74. Thumbs up, Bruce. Welcome. Thank you, Coffee Kids Trading, for your thumbs ups today. We got 77 now in the uh, hopper uh going for 100 thumbs ups and more thank you all for joining in on the show i think it's time to do what we do best on this show what we are always loyal to doing it is time to honor the knights of knee uh do not mess with these guys uh they uh, look pretty scary and you don't want to be on the wrong side of the knights of knee it's time to put out some knee emojis Neat, neat, neat emojis around the world to let them know we respect them. Richard Carlin knows what I'm talking about. Hector Salamanca knows what I am talking about here. Neat emojis beginning to pop up here from the viewers of this channel. Larry Titus throwing up some uh, legs and knee emojis. Deep value options. Neat, neat, neat. Aurora. Neat, neat, neat. The big E. Neat, neat, neat. Absolutely. Constantine and I R Aaron neat emojis abound all over the place. Thank you all so much for helping out and letting the neat um, knights of knee know 
that we do uh, respect the powers that they possess. We're not messing with these guys. Uh, we want the stocks to go our direction. We want the market to go direction. We want our options to depreciate out. And if the Knights of Knee have anything to do with it, we're not taking any chances. What do you think? We're crazy? Karen knows. Uh, knee, 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 knee. There they come. 82 thumbs ups. They're coming in, kids. The thumbs ups are coming in. The knee emojis are coming in. The square. Neat, 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 neat. Yes, indeed. Don't mess with the Knights of Knee. Don't underestimate the power of the Knights of Knee. They will come and get you if you don't respect them. Thank you, everybody. Uh, headline breaking here. The U.S. industrial capacity in use rises to 79.7% in August. Revised versus revised 79.5%. That is the latest right there. Watching for that. Matthew, neat, 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 neat. Matthew's here. Splair's here. Karen's here. Don't mess with these viewers. They know what they're doing. They are followers of this channel for a reason. Thank you, all of you who are Gold Bagel members, uh, Chillin' with Uncle Bruce members, subscribers, uh, thumbs ups givers. Uh, thank you all so much for your following of this channel. Please become a member today if you can. Bagel Babe is here. Neat, 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 neat. Don't mess with Bagel Babe. Uh, thank you all for your support of this lowly YouTuber. We're live from Stockholm, Sweden, September the 15th. It's 3.21 in the afternoon in Stockholm. Do you know where your children are? Thank you all for being here today. Uh, between Spire and SoFi, who has the most headroom for stock price increase, says T.C. Lamar, or asks T.C. Lamar. Anybody have questions or answers for T.C., let them know. Uh, we are watching this uh, pre-market now with nine minutes left before we start trading here. We're getting ready to uh, fire up the computers and see how these option trades are working out. How are you doing on your condors? Um, are you guys uh, are happy with how your condors are working out this week? Have you put some together for next week? Do let me know how your condors are working out. Oh. Uh, Ava, I will take care of you. Uh, uh, fantastic. I will get you your class. I was, uh, I'm surprised you didn't already get it when you made your, uh, made your purchase there. We will get you, uh, as soon as I'm over, the show's done, I will get you number 16 and you can watch it this weekend. And, uh, if you have any questions on it, you all, you know, to let, get a hold of me. Um, right on. Um, Farmala says the Knights of Knee can't handle IT. They're not to be feared. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Uh, eating a cantaloupe, cantaloupe, watermelon, orange inside, and watching Uncle Bruce says Splair. Neat, 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 neat. Right on, buddy. Fantastic. The new photo is up for Splair TV. I love that. There it is. We got together the other day. Splair has longer hair than I ever had in my life. I'll tell you that right now. Splair has got it going on. Uh, right on, pal. Great seeing you in Dortmund. Jen and I had a great time. Matthew, my condor looks good. It expires next Friday. Next Friday, I did a spread of 31 cents in SPYs. Luca is in the house. Neat, neat, neat. Right on, Luca. Welcome to the channel, the show. Great to have you here. Seven minutes away from opening the day for trading. We're at 80 six thumbs ups and counting the knee emojis are coming in ciao from the coast of tuscany for a weekend of wine and the sea right on there luca way to go pal enjoy the good life indeed it was such a pleasure seeing him in calgary before we came over here to europe bagel babe i'm up 150 this week on three iron condors i'm ready to write new ones today ah oh, that's beautiful stuff every friday can be payday for a lot of you folks on your iron condor trades absolutely uh, well done everybody uh let me know if any of you uh, uh what you thought of the uh, first ever trade tip video dedicated to gold bagel members we um i pro produced that this morning before this show i'm curious uh <coughs> what do you think of the uh what do you think of the trade? Um, are any of you going to look at it, uh, look into pulling it off? Uh, keep me posted. We're going to keep bringing out for gold bagel level members of this channel. We're going to bring out, if I can, I'm going to try to bring out daily or quasi-daily trading tip videos 
for specific trades for gold bagel members. A splur, I can't wait to catch you another time, maybe on the cowboy event that Jen was mentioning. Uh, st stampede, stampede in Calgary. Look out! Oh my God! Oh, get ready. Looking forward to catching up with you folks, a bunch of you folks in uh, New Jersey, Secaucus, New Jersey, just outside of Manhattan, October 21, Saturday, the 21st of October. That is, uh, what is that, a month and a week away, five weeks away from now, we're going to get together for a meet and greet in Secaucus, New Jersey, October 21st, Saturday, from about noon to 5. We're looking forward to that. Luca, pleasure was mine, old chap. Fantastic, sir. It was fun getting together with you. Lame Duck, um, neat emojis are coming in. Thank you, Lame Duck. Appreciate you. We have five minutes to go, and we're going to start trading on the session. We have right now um, household incomes, a headline, household incomes rose in just five states last year. Interesting stuff. U.S. industrial output rose in August on oil drilling strength. Interesting there. Uh, we've got GameStop sitting at 18.22 off 11 cents. We have SoFi down three cents at 9.02. Not much to worry about so far. Uh, Tesla and Neo shares are rising as EV makers get a broad lift after the UAW calls a strike on the big three auto makers. Interesting stuff. BW says uh, Uncle Bruce today is a bonus day. Quadruple. Witching Friday. Wahoo. Could be a rug man's idiot nephew's day in the markets to cause nonsense. Giddy up. Right on, BW. We're going to find out how this works out. The Dow's off 45. S&P down 9. NASDAQ down 50 in the pre-market with four minutes to go before we open for trading. Uh, oil is now down 39 cents at 89.77. So we broke the 90 level. We're now at 89 77. We'll see how that plays out today. There's a lot of futures contracts out there that will also turn over. We'll see how that plays out. Thank you all for joining me today. Glad to have you here. Great to see you. Uh, Spicy Android, I'm number 89 on your thumbs up meter, buddy. Blair, I'll leave uh, there a good impression about our bagel familia. Want to be there in autumn of 2024. Right on, buddy. Right on. Just keep growing your portfolio. 904, 905 on SoFi, virtually unchanged here. 1820 on GameStop, just off about 13 measly cents. Not much going on. He's thinking New Jersey next year. Right on, buddy. Gotcha. Well, we'll keep you posted where our next meet and greet will be. If you can make it to Jersey, you can make it anywhere. Once you're coming across the pond, it doesn't matter. We'll keep you posted what the next one will be next year when we know more. Thank you all for being here. A number of you have picked up that trade alert show today. Uh, looks like half or even uh, well, yeah, almost half of all Gold Bagel members have picked up the trade alert um, uh, show and the uh, Stock Markets with Bruce daily Gold Bagel member uh, tip. Uh, about 40% of the Gold Bagel members have caught that uh, video today. Uh, that, I'm sure, will build in popularity as we uh, keep going down the road on that one. 92 thumbs ups are in the house. Thank you, everybody, for 92 thumbs ups. They're coming in. Um, we're getting ready to open in two minutes, just two minutes away, and we start trading for the session September the 15th, Friday, option expiry day. Uh, Going to be... Volatile, I suspect. Remember, yesterday the Dow was up 331 points. To be down 40, hardly a problem here, kids. Uh, hardly a give back of any proportion. So interesting to watch how this market will play today. Um, BW, uh, QQ for you. What is the uh, dealio with RCL, Royal Caribbean? That is a BS share price if i ever seen one. Boomers just don't see the $22 billion in debt, can't see that over the buffet mounds of food. I have to agree, uh, they're in love with the fact that the ships are sailing with a lot of people on it. They're not making any money. Dude, I am number 90, spicy. Uncle Bruce, should I write on GameStop or wait to see if it goes up some more? The movie comes out today. Let's see what happens over the weekend. Larry, I'm skipping my 20-year high school reunion to hang out with Uncle Bruce and the Bagel Gang, says Larry. Welcome, my friend. Uh, we're a minute away from the bells being rung by said 
Mr. Titus Coyote. T.C. Lamar Sofi. Rock and roll. Take care, Lamar. Uh, we are getting ready to open for trading now. Let's see what this market has in store for all of you. I want you to be richer and richer and richer than ever before as the day wears on. Here we go right now. Uh, thank you, Larry Titus, for hitting the bells. We're up and we're running. Uh, I'm about to add already another spread trade as soon as my deposit arrives. I was, by the way, able to buy back the written call for less than $60 and rolled up into another one, a dollar lower and more. Premium right on, Splare. Uh, rock on, he says. Uh, Coyote, have a good one, everybody. Right on, everyone. Thank you for being here. We're open. We're running. We're starting the trade here. And let's see what this market has in store for us. Looks like about a 40, 45-point drop on the Dow. Nothing serious here. Uh, down 9 on S&P, down 50 on NASDAQ. We'll figure out the first 15 minutes, 30 minutes, see what gives, and then kind of go from there. What's this market trend about? Is it going to keep going up? Because it sure went up yesterday. GameStop is plus four cents. 18.37, it uh, is ignoring the pre-market. It's going green. Uh, SoFi 902, unchanged, uh, almost unchanged on the session here. We'll watch for that. Thank you all for joining me today from around the world, Europeans, Asians, from Australia, from Canada, the USA, South America, from Africa, and all over the UK and Europe. Welcome all to the show. We're live from Stockholm, Sweden, where it is now 3.31 in the afternoon on a Friday. And uh, what easy hours these Europeans have for the U.S. market. I mean, come on. 3.30, the market opens up, uh, closes around, what, 10.30 at night? I mean, easy peasy, nice and easy. Nice. You can sleep in and stay up late. Oh, boy. That is pretty good. I kind of know what's going on here. Uh, Bagel Babe, I think I'll have $175 for the week profit. And I've made enough money over the past month to add another iron condor position. Now I'm going to write another one. Right on, Bagel Babe. This is what it's all about. You start with what's comfortable and you build it and you build it. And you become a larger player as you go forward, and it does not stop. Well done, indeed. Gaudi, you know it. You know it, Gaudi. Good stuff, everybody. Thank you all for being with us today. We're, uh, we're off just 44, I think, on the Dow. Nothing serious here. Uh, we've got a plus day on the European markets, so no negative coming from there. We're down 18 on S&P, down 44 on NASDAQ. We had a good day yesterday on the Dow. We'll see what happens here. Um, Splayer TV, it closes at full, 10 o'clock. You got to love it, man. Uh, easy hours for Europeans to trade these markets in America. I mean, when I'm in California, I got to get up at 3.30 in the morning. I start my show at 5.30 in the morning, California time. I tell you, that's called working. Uh, I'm telling you right now. Uh, sell my house fast up on Marlboro. How you doing, buddy? Going to America's largest RV show this weekend in Hershey, Pennsylvania. We are camping, of course, right on. Pretty cool bean stuff. That should be a lot of fun. I know there'll be a bunch of YouTube videos next week all about the Hershey show. All the new gadgets and all the new versions of RVs coming up should be a ton of fun. Right on, everybody. Welcome, everyone, to the show. We're only off 44 points. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, GameStop down three. SoFi down four, Apple down 34, but Netflix is up a buck nine to 401.58. We may have oversold on Netflix here. AI down just a nickel, Nvidia down 137, Tesla's up 36 cents, Rocket Lab down one penny, uh, Matterport down a penny, Smart Rent up half a penny. Uh, we got Owens Corning at 137.70 down 193, ATIP down four, Unity is up 91 cents. It's bucking the market. Uh, Google down 40, Moderna up 71, Cisco down 12, Pfizer's up two, IBM up two cents, HPQ down seven, Microsoft down three dollars, uh, ME unchanged, Amazon down a buck uh, 21, Spire down a dime, Home Depot down a buck 40, Vanek down 165. Adobe is the loser today, down 23.55 to 5.28. This stock um, on August 18th was 5.07. This stock on uh, June 22nd was 4.77. That's $50 higher since June. 
the shares back in oh man in March were way down here too. Uh, 350, 353. Uh, back in the uh, last September, 276. Last September, 528 on Adobe. It's had a hell of a year. To give back a bit of ground today, not unreasonable. It's trading at 50 times earnings. It's had a run, an AI run of epic proportions. Anyway, I don't know how much downside there is, but today, 528 is where it's trading at, down 24 cents. Goldman, down 47 cents. Uh, Boeing, down 13 cents. Uh, Facebook, 308.76, down 296. Target down seven, JP Morgan down two, Costco down 59, Walmart down is up 37, Disney up a dollar, American Airlines up 11, uh, DraftKings down 25 cents, um, AMC 798 uh, down 16 cents. So that's 79 cents a share on uh, AMC, unfortunately. The Dow recovering, only down 10 points. This first five minutes, there, there's no sell off here, there's no wave. Of selling, we're down ten points. Uh, S and P down fifteen, Nasdaq down fifty eight. Oil is negative eighty nine fifty five a barrel, down sixty two cents. It's backing up a little bit. Uh, some profit taking for the end of the week, no surprise. Uh, uh, Splair, I think the, in the USA, I would oversleep all the time. Says so Splair, JJ, right on everybody. That's right, right on indeed. Uh, Welcome all to the party. GameStop down a nickel, SoFi down four. Just uh, nothing to worry about. We may have an update on these guys when it's all said and done. Remember, it's option expiry day. Iron condors are closing out. Uh, next week's condors are losing ground. Congratulations, iron condor creators. Walid, hello from Dubai. Walid, how you doing? I haven't seen you here for a while. I'm glad you're with us. How warm is it in Dubai right now? What kind of temperature are you dealing with in Dubai? And I hope you're doing well. Nice to have you here. Uh, Netflix is up 150. Apple up 21. They're going green. GameStop unchanged. Wants to go green. Uh, we're only down four on SoFi. The market might be coming on. We'll see what gives. Right on, everyone. Welcome to the party, everybody. Nice to see you here. We have thumbs ups, 98 now, 99 thumbs up. We got a Wayne Gretzky going on the thumbs ups meter. Uh, we got ourselves a 99 right now on the thumbs up. The next one puts us into triple digit. Walid is saying uh, thanks. It's like 43 Celsius here. So hot. <coughs> Welcome, Walid to the program my man uh stay cool indoors uh watch yourself <laughs> go out at night but don't overdo it right on i'm sure you know what you're talking about right on i wonder how much cooler when it's 43 on the ground in dubai if you go all the way up that khalifa tower how what's the temperature at the top of the khalifa tower when it's 43 uh, on the ground in Dubai, because uh, that tower is what two almost 2,000 feet up. Uh, I'm kind of curious if it's any cooler. I'm sure it is. Juan is here. Uh, sorry, I'm number 100. Thank you, Juan, for being my number 100 thumbs up uh, today. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we only need 100 more, and I will be satisfied with how many thumbs ups we've got. Um, Time to, uh, just to make sure, we're going to honor the Knights of Knee just one more time. Thank you, everybody, for being with us today, hitting those thumbs ups, and hit the knee emojis. JR, number 101, good morning, Uncle Bruce, and everybody else. Thank you, JR, for 101. We got 102 now. They're coming in. Here they go. Neat, 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 I say. Time for neat, neat emojis and a few others. Thank you all for the thumbs ups. 103 now. Here they go. Dean is here. JR is here. Here come the neat emojis. People are not going to be caught short. 104 on the thumbs up meter. Another one. Thank you, everybody, for that. GameStop is up a penny. The movie comes out tonight on GameStop. SoFi down a nickel. Apple down 51. Netflix up 119. Splare. Neat, 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 neat. Maria Powell. Neat, 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 neat. There they are. 
Splares there all over the knee emojis. They're just clicking in as usual. Thank you, everybody. 105 thumbs ups. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate those thumbs ups. Maria Powell, I am number 105. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Maria, for helping out with those uh, with those knee emojis. Uh, fantastic. Giddy up, everybody. Welcome to the party all. Uh, thank you all for, for being with us today. It's much appreciated. I hope you're going to have a great weekend this weekend. Jen and I are going to see a little bit of Stockholm this weekend and Monday, we're heading to Berlin, so I won't be on the air Monday, but keep an eye open. You never know when the next gold bagel level trading tip will come out. You never know when the next one comes out. Keep an eye open for those. That's a new feature for gold bagel members of this channel. Thank you all very much for your support. Mm. Working it hard. Uh, we're down 52 on the Dow, uh, 19 on S&P. 82 on NASDAQ, uh, half a point, about 0.6 on NASDAQ, but only 1.14 of a percentage point for the Dow. Very slight drop after a big 300-plus point gain yesterday. So, yeah, this market's not giving anything back, really. It just isn't. Uh, oil has given up ground. Uh, we're down almost a full percentage point at 89.28 on oil. Uh, we did hit 91-ish, uh, now 89.28, a bit of a pullback. We'll see if this uh, continues or not. A uh, little profit-taking on oil, my guess. Larry Titus, knee emojis. Uh, indeed, uh, we will honor the Knights of Knee. Maria, thank you for your 105th thumbs up there. I appreciate that, everybody. Alfredo, um, I hope you're having a great time, Bruce. When do you come back to Canada? October, late October. Uh, we have a meet and greet in Secaucus, New Jersey, the 21st of October. Uh, we don't come home until after that. Uh, fool of a Tuck, Bruce, I've started writing SPY Iron Condors this week. I'm writing two days out, so I always have contracts expiring, starting with two days this week, then I'm going to add one day each week. So far, $353 in profits. Uh, way to go, buddy. Uh, well done, Spur. Enjoy Stockholm. It's probably a rare opportunity to be there. At least they don't have a lot of good weather. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's it's very nice out here. It's fall. like uh, It's really cool. Juan, plan on stopping by here in Iceland. Uh, no plans uh, for Iceland. Uh, we've been able to uh, afford tickets that uh, get us across the ocean in one go. Uh, so no plans yet. But you never know. You never know where we're going to stop, when we're going to stop. Um, sometimes we just show up uh, at places that people don't expect us to show up to. You just never know. But right now, it's Stockholm. Uh, next week, it's uh, Berlin. Uh, we've been uh, we've been in Berlin many a time, and we love it. Sell my house fast in Upper Marlboro. Neat emojis, Bruce. Neat, 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 neat. Thank you. Sell my house fast enough for Marlboro. Uh, way to go. We have 109 thumbs ups now. Uh, thank you, you guys, uh, for the support with those thumbs up. Yes, indeed. Uh, what is going to happen here? Uh, Nicola stock, Nicola, Nicola stock soars. Investor concerns addressed and trucks are ready to roll out, according to Barron's. That's the headline about Nicola uh, or Nicola today. Interesting. Um, they say that they're continuing to climb the shares. The Friday after management addressed investor concerns and revealed the company should begin delivering its hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks in late September, early October. Uh, shares were surging 15% to pre-market to 132. Coming into the session, the stock had dropped 47% this year. Stocks uh, decline followed a handful of concerning news for investors, including management transitions and recent truck recalls. But a, at a fireside chat Wednesday, Chief Executive Steve uh, Gursky addressed the recall of more than 200 of its battery electric heavy-duty trucks due to the possibility of fires. He said the company is working tirelessly with our suppliers to obtain the appropriate parts to address the issue, and all fixes will undergo thorough validation testing prior to release. We want you all to be aware that the battery electric truck recall does not affect the production or deliveries 
a fuel set cell truck uh, electric delivery vehicles. Uh, interesting. Investors were pleased with the updates, and so the stock jumped to 115. It was the be sixth best one-day performance on record, according to Dow Jones market data. Okay, well, there you go. Canada is a premium market with its supportive population, industry, and government as it relates to addressing the impacts of climate change and its ambitious plans to transition towards hydrogen and cleaner fuels, Nicola said in a news release. So praising Canada. There you go. Good market up there in Canada for sure. Right on, everybody. Thank you all for joining in on the channel today. Great to have you here. Thank you for those of you who are renewing your memberships of this channel, becoming Gold Bagel members of this channel to get your updates, your, your daily, uh, soon to be very daily trading tip videos for Gold Bagel members only. That's a new feature. We just launched it today. If you have a chance as a Gold Bagel member, check out your first ever Gold Bagel, daily Gold Bagel tip, a member tip. Um, do check it out. See what you think. Right now, let me know your thoughts. Uh, okay. Um, what else is going on here? A big sell wave on Tesla. Now it's time to recover, says JR. Uh, he thinks there's a bit of a thing going on there. I see Tesla down 227. Nothing too serious. Spare, probably similar weather in Germany right now. Sunny around 20, 25 degrees in Germany. Or am I wrong? Cindy B, 110 thumbs up. I'm number 110, Bruce. Good morning to you. One, they have had five truck fires so far, so they're working on those. Uh, here in uh, Stockholm, uh, we're in the upper teens. Uh, we're like 17 to 20 for the highs. Very comfortable. I'm wearing my leather jacket outside. Love it. Uh, not hot, but Berlin right now in the 80s. Uh, they're in the mid to high 80s today. Uh, we'll see how that works out on Monday. Uh, but I think they're kind of cooling off next week into the 70s. So I'm sure they'll be fine. Bagel Babe just placed a trade based on the daily gold bagel tip that you made today. The DGBT, the daily gold bagel tip. Bagel Babe, you let me know how that works out for you. I'm curious to see how this one will perform for you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, being part of this show and uh, being part of this channel um, and letting me know how you're doing out there. Fantastic stuff. It's all about NVIDIA. I can tell you it's about NVIDIA. I can't tell you what the trade is. It's for Gold Bagel members only. You got to be a Gold Bagel member to know what the what the trade is but hey um bagel babe uh we'll keep an eye on that um uh, nvidia uh, nvidia right now the stock is uh down 504 at 450 77 the dgpt i love that the gold the the daily gold bagel trade tip of the day Oh man, uh, there you have it. That's what's that's what this channel is uh, getting into here. Splitter, I think I, I bought, I'm going to buy back my written AI call again and write this time out to September 29. And the weather sounds really enjoyable in Sweden, better than when it's hot like the last week here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Bagel Babe, I will let you know. Thank you, Bagel Babe. Appreciate it. Yep, uh, that expires next Friday. So we'll see how that trade works out. That iron condor. Gold Bagel Daily Trade Tip uh, for Gold Bagel members. Right on. Good stuff. We have 113 thumbs ups. We have Bleacher Creature. Uh, welcome to the Gold Bagel member level. Bleacher Creature, new member. Thank you, Bleacher Creature. You should be able now to find today's trading tip. Uh, that I put out this morning for Gold Bagel members uh, only. That should now be, I think, available to you. I, I'm going to guess it is. Uh, and uh, you let me know what you think about it. Uh, we're going to keep those coming for Gold Bagel member levels. Uh, you become a Gold Bagel level member, you're going to get daily trade tips from now on. Um, hopefully add to your arsenal of knowledge and your weaponry to make you even smarter traders. 114 thumbs ups. Thank you, guys. Keeping those thumbs ups going here. They're sneaking in. 115, there's another one. They're coming on. Thank you, everybody, for uh, 
being part of the group. I appreciate you. Well, what's going on? We're down 78 on the Dow, down 23 in S&P, down 109 on a NASDAQ. This is uh, uh, how many minutes into the day? Not a lot. Uh, we're only, uh, you know, barely uh, 20 minutes into the session here. Um, I'm not surprised to see this volatility. We will we'll get up and down volatility all day now. It's the it's an option expiry day today. So you've got a lot of ex a lot of volatility built into this market. Uh, so we'll see what's going on. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Um, 80 point drop on the Dow, 22.9 on S&P, 112 on the NASDAQ. Oil still off. Not as bad as it was, but it's down 31 cents at 89.85 right now on, on oil. Uh, Bleacher Creature 27. Thank you for, uh, for, be, for being a Gold Bagel member. I'm not sure if that's an upgrade uh, or, or you haven't been here for a while, but, uh, Appreciate you being here for sure. 115 thumbs ups and counting. Thank you, everybody. Good stuff. Um, Zelensky is coming in from Ukraine into Washington next week uh, as Congress debates $24 billion in Ukraine aid uh, increase there. Lots of activity going on there. Um, thank you all for uh, joining us and being part of this uh, channel. We've got uh, uh, trading right now. Uh, we're down four on Rocket Lab, four cents. So, uh, SoFi at 890, 889, down 16. GameStop is down 18 at the moment, 1816. Matterport down two and a half. Um, and 23 me just a couple of pennies lower. Spire down two cents. Uh, ATIP down four. Uh, Smart Rent is up almost uh, a penny now, or down a penny, pardon me. We've got Apple down 77 cents. We've got Goldman down 99. Cisco down four. Tesla down 317 at 270, 287. Arc Innovations down 40 cents. Microsoft down 518. Um, Pfizer's up 19 cents to 34.33. Uh, HPQ down 11. Alphabet, that's Google, down 115. Amazon down 292. NVIDIA is off 577. Unity down 55 as C3.ai uh, down 71 cents. Um, Adobe off 19.96. That's actually improving on Adobe. Netflix is up 328. That's improving as well. It's at 404 now. It's up 375 actually. So it's 40425 improving there. The triple Qs are down 339. The spiders are down 242 at the moment. That's where we see this market right now. We've got European markets anywhere from three quarters of a percentage point higher to 1.3 percent higher for the FTSE DAX and uh, CAC Caron in France so they're they're looking okay uh for the U.S uh, go around right now we're down 101 on the Dow 26 on or 24 on S&P 114 on Nasdaq but oil off 28 cents so far uh Treasury rates have risen to 4.33% for the U.S. 10-year Treasury. Uh, the U.S. dollar right now, uh, the uh, the uh, euro is at 106.6, the pound at 124.04, both under pressure uh, from uh, where they were just a few weeks ago. They're both off. There is the story. I'm sticking to it, kids. Uh, Bleacher Creature, welcome to the channel today. Great to have you here. Um, so appreciate you uh, being part of the gang for sure. Okay. We have at the moment 115 thumbs ups. Uh, thank you for that, kids. Nothing wrong with any of that uh, as we're moving along. 891 now on SoFi, down just 14 cents. Okay. <clears throat> Unity still up 52. Uh, Moderna up a buck. Pfizer up 18. IBM up 23. These are the uh, these are the ones going the other direction. Disney's up 145. American Airlines up two cents at the moment. There's a couple of green bars, not many, just a couple out there uh, at the moment. Nike up 24 cents. Not too much else. Mostly red, but uh, it is option expiry Friday, so. It's a volatile day today. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, JR, Uncle Bruce, I like the iron condor strategy to be able to write 
uh, way out of the money on both the call and the put side. Uh, but some tickers with juicy premiums have such a wide bid ask spread. It's a hard to set a position. What are your suggestions? I think the way to do it is um, by all means um, be involved in the most active trading option stocks. So, you know, Apple is a candidate, um, Microsoft, uh, Spiders, Triple Qs, Teslas, NVIDIAs. You, you want to be involved. If you're going to do Iron Condors and you're going to go out more than a few days, like a week or two weeks or three weeks, you want to then be in the most actively traded contracts where the most players are, where the suckers are, where the casino floor is packed with gamblers, where you can grab credits and you want to shop around. This is not an easy thing to find at a moment's notice. You've got to shop it, shop it, shop it. And you'll come up with the positions where, okay, I can go here with this condor, maybe a week or two out on this triple Q or the SPY or the SPX. I can go out here two weeks uh, and, and write this put and buy this put, write this call, buy this call. And give myself a credit on each side and have a wide, wide range here, knowing that in about a week or less, maybe not that long a time frame, these will shrink out so quickly that your gain is already locked in well before expiry, which allows you a rollover. It just You just close these out and now take on new positions for the next week again. And uh, you may find that you bring in... 40 cents, 80 cents, a dollar 10, buck 40 in premiums and credits. And you find that uh, you don't write just one or three, you write five or eight or 10 at a time or 15 or 20. And the cumulative number of these contracts with these small credits add up to substantial dough where you've got this wide range between the top and the bottom. And you have really put yourself in a position where you know that sure there are 13 trading days left until these options expire but you're going to be out of the position with less than eight trading days left or four trading days left you're not going to be anywhere near the end of it you may also find as we come in on time that you're going to reposition your puts and calls and bring in bigger premiums bigger credits on both sides as they come in and come in and come in then you're going to flip forward again to the next one so uh bobby uh, entered a position on cgc canopy growth right now bleacher creature back for another go around highly recommend class 16 iron condors they have been great for me so far uh splair just sold on that spread we talked about second time the written call now i'm waiting a little to write one a week more time for a little more cash right on bobby 300 shares at 141 50 ish uh bobby uh, my platform wouldn't take the ic trade need to email quest trade about that uh Sp uh, Splair, first trade is offering for sure spreads and condors uh jr is it helpful to settle the put position then set a call position independently i've been writing 30 or more at a time and yes it really adds up uh, again depending on your broker um you know, in some cases, you can do the, the four positions in one shot. In others, you'll do it in piecemeal. Um, every position is different. Every broker is different. Every trader situation is different. Some of you need level two or level three trading to do this. I, again, I don't know. I don't know the rules of your platform. You've got to figure this all out. But I am pumped that you guys are... Uh, you know, really getting into this, like this right here, this these 30 or more at a time, they add up to a lot of money. Uh, they really do. And when you can write way out of the money, short, relatively short term, we're talking a week or two or three, and take advantage of complete shrinkage to zero so quickly, this becomes profitable. It, it really pays to be observant of these kinds of trades. They aren't easy to find on a moment's notice at times, but that's part of the magic of it it's not for everybody you are not in competition 
with millions of other traders trying to find the same trade. You are in a world of a very selective group of really institutional traders. You are you are with the big boys and girls uh, pulling in these dollars multiple times. Uh, it's a different game. And uh, as I said before, um, lesson number 16 is a life changer for a bunch of you out there. I know it. Uh, I created lesson 16 knowing that for a bunch of you out there, this would fit your trading pattern perfectly. Uh, you like the action. You like the short term of it. You like the security of it. You like the low risk. You like the credit aspect of the trade. There's a lot to like about iron condor trading, but you gotta get into it. Take class 16. Um, and you will be rewarded handsomely for your $150 investment. <laughs> How many of you got your $150 back on the first iron condor you created? I mean, how many of you did well with that? Matthew, my calls and puts uh, both got zapped. They were both cut more than half in value. Wow, uh, Splare. I definitely need to double my portfolio on first trade before I watch the condor class, but they had a while ago a special offer for searching account for half account. JR, by the way, you, uh, for you tasty trade peeps, the platform will do a four-legged trade or set independently, as I mentioned. And the iron condor is a great strategy to use if there's a little time to if there's little time to check daily. There you go, right there. Uh, spoken by. A trader, uh, look, uh, you know, I'm not paying this guy to say this stuff. He's saying it on his own. Um, hear him now. Believe him later. He knows what he's doing. Um, the returns are coming in. And I am stoked for you guys. Uh, for some of you folks, you're going to make some nice money here. We have 119 thumbs ups now. 119. Thank you, everybody for coming through for me. Keep those thumbs ups coming in. Uh, we got 29 minutes left on our show and uh, we're adding to the day. Thank you very, very much. It's a much appreciated. The Dow's coming back. Have you noticed? We're only down 39 points. Uh, S&P is down 22. NASDAQ down 130. The Dow is leading the market today. It was up 330 yesterday. It's only down 30 now. It's not giving up anything here. We're coming on. Uh, JR, set it up. Put in a buyback order for a desired percentage return. Check daily for rollovers. Do other fun stuff. What a deal. Thank you, Uncle Bruce, for class 16. Neat, neat. i uh, tell you, it's the best 150 bucks you're ever going to spend on learning this market. If you want to make money in the options market, it might be, for some of you smaller traders, perfect. Iron Condors, class number 16. I cannot emphasize enough. This should be a class you must grab ASAP. Study it. Hang out with us a while. Learn these uh, complexities. I'll be doing class 17 soon. As soon as we get back to Canada, 17 is coming your way. More strategies. We will get you going on how to make money in this market. Um, why give money away like the losers out there when you can be a winner yet again? Why not? Uh, JR, the great beauty of the iron condor, you limit your losses. There are no unlimited losses on iron condor trades. Exactly. That's exactly it right there. Um, it's a winner. It can be the trade for or many of you can be the right way to go about it. Boy, I love it. Um, look, you don't have to own expensive stock. You don't have to own $200 stocks. You don't have to worry about $50,000 trading accounts. You can do iron condor trading with 5, 10, 15, 20 grand, lots of it, lots of it, and uh, really uh, make yourself some dough. Uh, Matthew, anyone, uh, anyone new here? Take class 16. Uh, it is slowly changing my life. Uh, JR, come on, Tesla, buy wave. Help me out of here. <laughs> Splair, I feel some with the, with the spread class. Uh, it looks like a huge change for my program. We count on weeks ahead of the months instead of months. 
like I say, uh, number 16, baby. Uh, this is the one. Uh, Matthew knows what he says. Uh, what he says. Uh, we had more people take class 16 live than uh, the last four or five classes. Uh, it was really popular. And uh, we've had a bunch of people pick up number 16 when they heard about it. A lot of people here could not be with us live that particular moment. And so they picked up class 16 when it became available. And I have had comment after comment after comment come in here uh, from private emails, one-on-ones. Uh, they're telling me these Condor trades, they're working for me, man. They are really working for me. Uh, this lamp is not working for me. Uh, this little lamp on my desk, there's no lamp behind me. There's just a lamp on my desk. Uh, it, it wasn't working for me here a minute ago, but hopefully I can get it to work now. You, you behave there, lamp. You just you just do what you're supposed to do. Hold up my big ass iPad. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, everybody. Um, Drew, I have been writing uh, SPY iron condors for 30 days out. Short legs at, at 10 delta with five dollar spreads on either side. Sleep easy trades. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. Right on. Rock and roll, Drew. Uh, this, this is this is it. I, I'm I'm telling you, this has a uh, it, this is a strategy that can make you money. This this is definitely uh, boy. You're <laughs> you, 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 you will be amazed at how quickly these contracts shrink out. Uh, once you once you put your positions on with your credits. You'll just sit back and go, look at them shrink, look at them shrink. And the shrinkage is good. Uh, shrink to nothing, it's all your money. I tell you, it's looking good. Uh, JR, by the way, the Iron Condor trades help level out the wild swings in account balance, buying power, and when trading volatile stocks, what a deal. There you go. There you go. Uh, thank you, everybody, for these comments. Uh, really appreciate them. 121 thumbs ups now uh, coming through. Uh, thank you, Drew, for that comment. That really was, uh, that it's revealing, isn't it? JR, Drew, I like running SPY also and Triple Qs and Tesla. All those big ticket stocks I never thought I could trade. And now I am trading them with iron condors. Uh, this opens up the market to everybody. All of you option writers, all of you option followers, take class 16 and now start participating in these high, high volatile, priced, high price stocks that you couldn't afford to buy. You couldn't afford to buy the deep in the money calls. You couldn't get into this cash secured puts. There was no way. Now you're in on it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's all good. Uh, you, well, I'm talking about, you know, a couple thousand dollars and you can do iron condor trading on Tesla. You, you can't think of doing a Tesla trade with a couple thousand dollars. Uh, there's no, there's no way. Um, no way. Um, uh, Way to go, everybody. We have 122 thumbs ups. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you, Drew. Thank you, JR. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Splair. Uh, thanks to a whole bunch of Bobby Atkinson and uh, Bleacher Creature. Thank you to Bagel Babe, uh, Juan, Cindy, uh, uh, Selma House, Fast and Apple, Marlboro. Uh, all of you guys who are here. Um, learning all about the uh, the iron condor trading uh regular option trading or writing regular calls deep in the money call, poor man cover call writing uh cash secured put writing congratulations all of you you've come so far in uh, two and a half years it's lightning speed uh how much you've learned uh it's uh, it's like full-blown college courses have come your way and you're getting paid handsomely for this I'm loving it. I'll tell you right now. Clay 180, the, the iron condor was such a boon for me. And the strategy makes sense. Get the price ranges dialed in for your stock with a conservative or closer and let the shrinkage happen. Dude, I I, um, I love using Tasty Trade. I'm about three months in, and JR just helped me realize I can close at a percentage profit uh, as a GTC. Good till canceled. I'm not sure why I never thought of this before. My brain works slower than the rest of you guys. Wing Commander. Thumbs ups for Uncle Bruce. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Drew, maximize profits and probability of success while minimizing risk. I love this game. Ah, uh, yeah. 
100 something says wing commander i am up there on your thumbs up meter bagel babe uh yep that's me thank you uncle bruce thank you guys uh drew i love these comments uh, dude i love these comments when i see these it just confirms what what you know i know to be true you guys are going to do well uh i i are aaron iron condors have been a game changer for me um drew i can see iron condors becoming constant income simplifying portfolio to focus on this strategy wing commander watching kiddo right now can't follow the market but i did create the nvidia iron condor uncle bruce is talking about i got a buck eight for mine uh right on jr dude uh no stress i wake up in the morning sometimes and think what why didn't i realize that before after almost two years of trading as they say it's going to take time to learn how it all works uh, dude even a moron can make money with uncle bruce's strategies <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to help everybody. Uh, if I can help you guys make money, you keep Jen and I um, in in this in this uh, uh, hotel in in Stockholm and in Berlin and elsewhere. And we thank you, we thank you very much. Uh, I I just uh, love it when you guys make dough. Uh, thank you for being members of this channel. Thank you for following me, uh, you Gold Bagel members. Uh, I will do everything I can to keep you in the chips as my way of thanking you for the support of of keeping this channel on the air as small as this audience is i do not attract a hundred thousand viewers a day on this channel uh it is the sponsors of this channel the gold bagel members specifically that make this channel work uh, of course children with uncle bruce members i love you too I do. I uh, would love it if you could move up one notch more and just make more money on this channel. If that is possible, that would be terrific. Uh, and all of you who are lurkers, think about becoming a member of this channel. Become a Gold Bagel level. Try it for three months and see what you think. For $75 for three months, 25 bucks a month, uh, you're going to start getting Gold Bagel trade tips every day. Um, all you need is a profit of $25 one time in one month that pays your membership of this channel. I suspect you can't make only $25. You can't. Uh, th that's impossible. I can't see you doing Iron Condor where you only make a $25 profit. I, I just, You're going to make more than that. Much, much more of that. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, Slayer, no one can beat my snail speed in case of acquiring new ideas. Nobody. <laughs> JR, dude, wow, couldn't have said it better. Uncle uh, Uncle Bruce, thank you, man. Uh, Maria Powell, uh, thank you, Uncle B. I hope you guys are enjoying your travels. Uh, we're loving it, and we know it's because of you guys. Uh, you are making money. We get to travel. It's as simple as that. I have to help you make money. JR, Uncle Bruce, I know it helps to have more followers as a YouTuber, but if more are here, that means more are realizing how to be the casino. It's competition, you know. Uh, JR. And thanks to the uh, uh, GB trade tips idea, invaluable. Uh, there you go. Well, like I said, uh, this option market is bigger than you're ever going to be. Uh, no matter how big you guys become, no matter how successful you guys become, even those of you who are going to be, and there will be a number of you that will be riding 50 iron condors at a time, 100 150 you're going to just go into the market with a 200 iron condor trade 200 calls puts uh calls put 800 contracts in a go you'll get a fill like that uh this market is bigger than you could ever imagine it it's incredible clay 180 has stepped in and has upgraded membership to the gold bagel level a 15 dollar increase in cost to become a Gold Bagel member, Clay, I am certain you are not going to regret the move. You're going to love the results. Uh, way to go, man. I thank you so much for being such a loyal follower of mine. And now Gold Bagel. Fantastic. I love this. Maria, yep. Gold Bagel is worth it. Great Discord also. Yay, Clay. A splare. You all wishing everybody here a great relaxed weekend and all your trades. A lot of uh, helpful time shrinkage for the jump into next week. Clay. Uh, I'm I'm doing an upgrade because the iron condors have been so profitable. I'm not betting on an up move or down move that many or may not come. 
Thank you for introducing the kind condor and explaining it so clearly. Uh, more, my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure, Clay. Uh, thank you so much. JR Tesla is coming back to the moon, baby. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for being here. Clay, thank you. Also, all of you who are upgrading to Gold Bagel, um, cannot thank you enough. It, uh, it, it It's a little bit of money from each of you, but collectively, it makes all the difference for Jen and I. We just keep on going, keep on going. We keep on going. We're going to make you richer. Uh, those of you picking up the classes, uh, you will be rewarded hands handsomely. I am certain of it. You will be really rewarded. Pick up class 16, class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 16. And for those of you who need to have your hand held, you look me up with my uh, private email and we'll get together for a one-on-one -on -one. I'll help you get over the hump. You'll figure it out. We'll get you through the uh, through this maze. You'll understand how iron condors can work or any other option trading you want to do. You let me know. Thank you. Uh, Clay, Uncle Bruce has been the best investment I've made this year. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you. I thank you. I thank you, JR. Clay, I'm agreeing with you on that one. Hawkeye, I am number 132, Bruce, on your thumbs up meter. I am number 132. Uh, this is so cool to see this many thumbs ups coming in. Uh, we have not seen 150 in a while. And it would sure be nice to break 150 and try a run at 200. I don't know if that's possible. 139 of you are here. I don't know if every one of you have hit the thumbs up meter, but there's 133 in there now. And uh, we've got new Gold Bagel members uh, and folks upgrading to Gold Bagel today. Thank you all very much. Get your hands on that video I made this morning. Those of you, uh, it's the new Stock Markets with Bruce Daily Gold Bagel member trade tip. A video coming out, uh, making you smarter and richer. Uh, folks are picking it up. I've had 14 watches of that video in the last hour. This was done three hours ago. Just in the last hour, 14 folks have picked up the gold bagel video uh, that I put out there. The trade tip of the day. More are coming your way, hopefully one every day going forward. As a thank you from Jen and I to all of you out there for being members of this channel, gold bagel level members. Uh, I want to reward you for your uh, faith in us. Uh, I want to give it back as much as I can. Uh, dude, an update on my Netflix Iron Condor Iron Butterfly. I took in 1200 bucks in credit. And now I'm at a call side of 437, uh, 415, and the put 415, 385. Had to take some added buying power off the table, table for this one. Uh, but I'm only 100 away from break even, and I still have 14 days of shrinkage. Some time premium on the call side, and hopefully the stock recovers a bit before earnings. And there you go. Uh, this is it. Um, well done there. Uh, dude, uh, JR, I can't wait for further class and another great strategies, Uncle Bruce. I am drooling for this. More coming. Uh, definitely more coming. We're not done yet, uh, but we got to get you guys through class 16. You can't possibly think about class 17 without class 16 in your belt. You got to have it. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you all uh, again so much for your support. It is so appreciated. 136 on the thumbs up meter, 14 to go, and we got 150. Not bad at all for a Friday, Friday, September 15th, live from Stockholm, Sweden. We have 136 thumbs ups right here on the day. I thank you very much. Uh, man, this is exciting stuff. Uh, really cool bean stuff. Love it. I love it. Uh, dude, way to go, buddy. Uh, I love how you're doing these condors. <laughs> All right. Uh, too much fun here, uh, to say the least. Uh, the Dow is uh, down 107 again. It's going to fluctuate. You know, be down 10, down 150 up 30, down 20. I mean, it's going to be all over the map here. We're down 27 on S&P. We're down 134 on NASDAQ. Oil is up a dime. It's trying to fluctuate all over the place as well. Um, JR, oh, yeah, and Secaucus, too. I got my ticket. Got my airline ticket for Secaucus right on, JR. Brian, Uncle Bruce, I just saw this morning that there are 1.6 million shares available for shorting. 
it has been under a hundred thousand for the past few days. Now I, I'm not sure what 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 stock are you talking to me about, <laughs> Brian? Brian, I'm in the dock here. Uh, is a good time to sell some covered calls on what? <laughs> I don't know which one you're meaning. Sorry, a GameStop. Uh, sorry, GameStop. Okay, so there's 1.6 million shares available for shorting. It's been under 100,000 past few days. That can change at a moment's notice. Um, it could be that we're in, we're on a rollover day, being being the third Friday of the month. Uh, it could well be that Monday morning, nothing available to short. So, uh, Brian, I don't know. Uh, is it a good time to sell some covered calls on GameStop? I'm kind of wondering about the uh, the movie coming out tonight. Uh, it, it starts today. I guess Pete Davidson is in it and some other guys. Um, how's this movie going to play out? How's that going to affect the stock next week? I, I don't, I can't, I just can't answer this question. I I'm kind of going hands off right now. I'm going, well, you know, the stock's unchanged all day. The Dow's been down all day. GameStop won't give back the game from yesterday. I'm kind of wondering, is there an up move coming? Uh, Robert, good morning, Uncle Bruce and all. I'm still on a general audience. How you doing, Robert? Thank you, my friend, for, for being here. It's good to have you. And I'm glad you're around. Uh, I have to uh, make a move right now. I've forgotten. <laughs> With all the excitement of my day here, um, what can I say? Um, I want to thank you all for, for being with me here. And I better make this adjustment right now because I've forgotten to do it. First thing this morning, I should have done this. Uh, here we go. We're going, uh, we're going, uh, uh, we're going members only comment <laughs> right now. Uh, there you have it. We, we haven't had many comments from non-members, interestingly enough, because everyone is so used to the fact that uh, that the channel goes member comment only when the market is open. So, uh, you know, every once in a while, if I forget to do it, um, it doesn't seem to make a difference. Uh, but Robert, uh, uh, you know, I love you and I thank you, my friend. And you're giving me the heads up that I didn't do this. But I'm just going back in comments, and uh, I tell you, I don't see a comment going back for quite some time that came from a non-member. Um, Alfredo, uh, uh, that was uh, 341. Uh, that was like almost an hour ago. So <laughs> all the comments are from members. Anyway, now it's member only. Anyway, thank you, Robert, so much. I appreciate this. Uh, reviews are good, actually, says Brian, on this movie. I heard it looks good for retail and bad for hedgies follows the whole short squeeze pretty well misses a lot but of course it's only a movie for entertainment dude i just don't know why the cfo had to lower expectations a month before earnings netflix dropped so quickly on sentiment i'm not just going to take it though i'm rolling with the punches right on dude splare alberto and dq aren't in the movie uh it'll end up horrible there you go uh jr have a great day today uncle bruce and say hello to uh Auntie Jen. Hello, Auntie Jen from JR. Hello, Jen. Hello, JR. She says hello to you. Hope you two have a great vacay day. Well, and vacay day is a great day. Dude, it's the triple witching today, right, Uncle B? I thought it was that or maybe quarter. Quadruple. Splare. Dude, I think, yes, third Friday and first uh, was September 1st. There you go. Well, this movie will be interesting to see how it plays out. GameStop 1838 up a nickel here. Uh, SoFi has recovered. It's unchanged. 905. SoFi has come back. The Dow off 88. Uh, it's improving. Now only off 78. The Dow's coming up again, coming back a bit. We're down 24 on the S&P. NASDAQ down 122. Oil just went negative again, down 16 cents a barrel. Manager is in the house with the 137 <laughs> thumbs up. Thank you, manager. Marcus, uh, it's a quadruple witching day today. Dude, quadruple. I think you're right. Yes, it's a quadruple witching and that might be why that GameStop thing is so quirky. Look at the GameStop now, 1845 up 12 cents. GameStop just took a pop here. I don't know why, but it just popped. Uh, for whatever reason, it just popped to the high of the day right now, 1845 share on GameStop. I don't know what. It's up 12. It was down 20. It's up 12. That's what I'm telling you. Drew, Uncle Bruce, make sure to check out the VASA 
museum while you're in Stockholm. That is the ship, and that is on our to-do list. Yes. Splare, uh, Biam, order fill, 2850 AI95. Third call written against my bot, October. Giddy up, baby. Biam. <laughs> right. Brian, SoFi looks to be following the same trend as GameStop wants to go up. BW, please, please, please do not uh, go eat at Ikea while there. Uh, come on now, Uncle Bruce. Treat Auntie Jen to something nice, you know, like a like a shenan uh, like a shenanigan step above, uh, you know, a, a little better than uh, TGI Friday. I can tell you right now, I, I mentioned IKEA to Auntie Jen. She said we should go there and eat. So uh, she was in on it. Um, and uh, TGI Friday, we were just sitting in the park. We could smell the burgers going, and we thought, oh, I could use one of those burgers. It was delicious. It was great. Fool of a Took, finally tally on profits for the week, $431 on writing only two calls per day. My goal was $200. I'm really liking this strategy so far. Ha, ha. Right on, Fool of a Took. JR, glad I wrote those March 24 cash-secured puts on SoFi. They're looking good. Fine. Uh, well done, JR. Well done. SoFi 906 up a penny. GameStop 1847, 1848 up 14, 15 cents. The high of the day 1848 on GameStop 685,000. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to go to 19 today because of the movie. Um, will they go to 20 on Monday because of the movie? Like I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, this is one of those uh, I can't answer the question right now questions uh yeah uh, brian gamestop jan 2026 calls available now for deep in the money that's correct manager uncle bruce i sold 20 december 15 uh 2023 260 cash secured puts for 1866 on tesla uh the dip um the dip will get out once tesla runs up did i do good uh so you wrote 260 cash secured puts. The stock is 274 right now. Out of the money here nicely. Um, hey, brought in 1866. I like that kind of cash. Um, yeah, look, uh, the, the, you know, you're 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 in great shape here. I mean, you're looking smart. I like it. 20 times $1,800 a contract. I kind of like that action. Yeah, that's a good money. Brian, $8 to $12.50 range. Ha, ha. Uh, Splare, honestly, sometimes a casual day in another city can be a really great refreshment. Oh, that's true. Uh, there you go. We're at 908 on SoFi. We're up a couple of pennies. 18.44 on uh, GameStop. The Dow off 115. We got three minutes to go, and our day is done. We have thumbs ups totals now of 138. Thank you, everyone, for propping in some thumbs ups on us today. It is much appreciated. If you're watching on the rerun, hit those thumbs ups for us. Thank you again to those of you who have been upgrading your membership to Gold Bagel level so that you can catch your very own Gold Bagel tr Trade of the Day video that I'm now popping up. The first one was out this morning. Every day going forward, I'm hoping to be able to pull one out of there and bring one to your attention. A Trade of the Day tip for Gold Bagel level members. As a thank you from uh, Jen and I for being Gold Bagel levels of uh, members of this channel, I thank you so very, very much, dude. Uncle Bruce, lesson nine has been an interesting rewatch. I've been writing butterfly call spreads using your method uh, in a sideways market like we've had it uh, can be better result on Dow stocks that don't move. There you go. There, you, there. You see each lesson is worth its price of admission uh from one to 16. every one of them has nuggets gold nuggets of info that you can take advantage of to get richer you have to want it bad enough get out there watch those classes at your leisure take one a week two a week get in there and let's go baby make some money JR, I haven't seen Christine here for a while. I would like to thank her for suggesting using the MACD, moving average and on balance volume to make decisions on how to sell and roll positions. Thank you, Christina. There you are, Christina. I hope you're doing well out there no matter where you are. 
I hope you're doing all, I hope all of you are doing well, no matter where you are, whether you're actively watching, casually watching, coming and going, catching up on reruns, watching me on weekends. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, Dad, Dad Jimmer uh, finally picked up Class 16. Can't wait to dive in. I've been dabbling in Iron Condors, but I need those nuggets. Indeed, my friend, get your hands on Class 16, people. Absolutely get your hands on Class 16. Um, if you have any trouble out there, any of you have any trouble with your links, let me know. I will get you your links. I'll take care of you. Uh, just let me get off the air and I'll set you up. Uh, right on, uh, Jimmer. I see that purchase went through there. Right on, buddy. Uh, way to go, man. Um, going to get richer, going to get smarter. Way to go, everybody, on class number 16. We have 139 thumbs ups. I have to say my goodbyes to you folks. Um, we're going to be off the air on Monday because we are traveling to Berlin on Monday. Jen and I will be uh, in the air. But you'll catch us on Tuesday. There might be a live video coming out. I might be able to. I'm not sure. There might be a trade of the day video coming out for Gold Bagel members on Monday. But uh, definitely Tuesday, we're on the air for sure. You will get updates, and there will be a Gold Bagel member trade tip of the day coming your way for Gold Bagel members of this channel. So please uh, upgrade if you can. Uh, become a member of this channel. Go right to the Gold label, gold Bagel level right there, and let's get you making money. That is the name of the game. Okay, everybody, thank you. Um, JR saying, I'm trying to set a covered call today. To pull in at least a thousand dollars in premium on Tesla and then let it expire and get exercise and then switch to an iron condo. That's gonna it's gonna happen. Right on there, JR. Dude, she's had to take a break. And I think she said last week, I was inspired by her daredevil trades. I'll have to investigate this MACD uh, OBD method. JR, sorry, 10,000. That's what I'm after. 10,000 manager. Thank you, Uncle B, for confirming my thoughts on the Tesla cash secured. Good. You got it, manager. Thank you, my friend, for being part of this channel. I love you, buddy. Uh, thank you all so much. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Uh, give someone you love an extra long hug next time you see them. You never know when it's the last time. We'll catch up with you guys on uh, Tuesday from Berlin. Thank you so much for your support. Every way you give us support, we love you guys. Uh, thank you. Jen and I are going to get ready to go out here. It's uh, 4.32 Stockholm time. That means it's almost dinner time for us oldies, you know. <laughs> almost time for a full-blown meal. i uh, got to be in bed at 7 o'clock. We're old, you know. <laughs> thank you all. Have a great one. Splare, thank you, buddy. Dude, uh, big hugs. JR, neat, 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 neat. JR, here's some support. Thanks, buddy. BW going hanging, uh, enjoy hanging with the Swedish chef and beaker. Mork, mork, mork. Uh, Karen D, thank you. E, e, e. All the best to you guys. Jen says goodbye to all of you. 909 on your SoFi. We're at the high of the day on SoFi. I think this is the high of the day. Yeah, 911, 910, 911 right now on SoFi. We're going up. Giddy up, kids. Let's keep this party going. Uh, GameStop, 18.53 up 20 cents. Just get richer. Get richer out there, you guys. That's what I want to see happening. Keep us posted on how you're doing. Splare, by the way, I really recommend spreads with a four or five week distance between written and bot contract. The shorter distance on the written one for sure. Brian, thanks, Uncle B. Have a great weekend. If selling uh, covered calls on GameStop for April, would you recommend April 25s? Well, 25, 22 and a half, uh, out of the money, baby, out of the money. BW, AJ, keep sneezing in Canadian, and they'll know you're a Canuck. There you go, a splare. Neat, neat, neat. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys, we'll catch you on, uh, on Tuesday, okay? Thank you so much. 141 thumbs ups. That is awesome, guys. Thank you for that. Uh, we'll see you Tuesday from Berlin. Keep it going. Get richer for me, and we'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thank you, and bye from Stockholm, Sweden.